Shoot, I stopped paying attention. I just got 96 HP. Uh, yeah. Oh, 18, 1875 total. I don't think that got me a combat level. Yeah, 1 million XP until the next HP level. So, uh, we're getting to the big boy levels now. Um, I don't know if I really need to record these anymore, but I just got a, another leaf bladed sword. Which, yeah, it's pretty cool, but I kind of don't have the inventory space for it right now. It's gonna only just fit. Ah, well, uh, rip my Varex skirt, apparently. Uh, let's see if I'm still able to do this. I, I Obviously, they're, they're still not gonna kill me very quick, but... Uh, yeah, that, that now is giving me zero defensive stats. At least he can't tell. I wasn't paying enough attention, <laughs> apparently. Uh, that was 88 defense. I I knew it was coming up, but I stopped paying attention because I thought I wouldn't get it for at least a bit longer. Ah, well, how much? 500k till the next level? Uh, yeah. I can't remember if I said this, but basically I want to try and get my uh, defense level to 90. And then once I've got my defense level to 90, uh, my attack and defense will get trained at the same time whenever I'm using like my whip or my haster. But uh, if I'm not doing anything that requires one of those, I will just be training strength. So once I've got to 90 defense, it's strength 99, and attack and defense will get trained at the same time. Alright, so I was just doing some uh, some Zolra, as you can tell. And I decided, you know what, let's, let's just go find myself some Chaos Runes. I really want this Anguish, and... If I just buy myself some Chaos Runes, I'll be able to get it nice and quick. And I have plenty of money now since I did all of that alking on the Kurask task. So, yeah, I can go buy myself enough stuff to make 28,000 Chaos Runes. And then I'm going to go get myself the Onyx. And there we go, 260,000 Tockle. I decided that I uh, was going to sell a few of my Death Runes as well. Because I had very similar numbers of Chaos Runes and Death Runes. And I'd like to be able to keep some uh, Chaos Runes for... Buying or for recharging my trident and barraging and things like that. So, uh, yeah, this should be enough. 260k tackle. Yep, there we go. Buy one uncut onyx. Nice. Oh, it's, it, I will never get tired of seeing that. Let's go and uh, make myself the anguish if I can. Uh, I need to get the plus five boost. So, let's hope I don't go unlucky for that because that will not be good. All right, I can't remember if I need to cut the onyx first. Uh,. I guess I need to cut the onyx. Oh, yeah, cut onyx. Cool. Uh, there we go. And boom. Nothing in. Uh, I can't reach that. Do I have to? Ah, yeah, there we go. Fuse them. Boom. Uncut zenite. Cut this straight away. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> go get this boost. No, I got the boost, but I forgot I needed a golden bar. Please don't go down. Please don't go down. No, oh, no, no. Where is it? Uh, gold bar. But run speed. Still plus five, it's still plus five. Uh yes. Wait, what? Why can't I make it? What? Oh I need to cut it. Please, go on, go on. Yes! <laughs> oh, I was so worried it was gonna go down there. Okay, we're good. <laughs> We've made the Zenite necklace. Oh we can at least pretend that we have an anguish now. We're so close to getting it, but uh yeah. What magic level do I need for this? 93. Ah, I can do that with a magic pot. Let's go do that now. Alright, here we go. Drink the magic potion. Level 7 enchant. Oh, hang on. Uh, level 7 enchant on the Zenite necklace. Boom. There we go. Necklace of anguish. Hell yes. <laughs> oh, jeez. That feels so cool. Right. Uh, Amulet of Fury. Let's, let's compare the stats right here. Um... Um, right, so Fury has 10 ranged uh, and no range strength. This has 15 and 5 range strength. Oh, that's so much better, dude. Right, uh, let's just see. That was the superstore. Oh, nice, you can't drink stuff in this screen. There you go. I haven't got my barrows gloves with me, but there you go. The ranged upgrades have been coming in a lot uh, with my Anguish, the Assembler, and the Pegs. Uh, I think the only other upgrades I'll be able to get will be, I suppose, Blowpipe and Archer Ring, I guess, and Armadil. 
yeah, we're, we're getting close to max range. This is pretty cool. Right, I'm gonna... I was sorting out my bank, and basically I'm gonna use this to show you that I uh, I do drop things to my main, but I only ever do it if what they're worth on my main is more than what they're worth to me on this account. So like, as you can see for those, they both have, if I alked both of them, I would have gained 60k, but dropping them over to my main, it's uh, like 250k. So that I'd rather have that 250k worth of bond money than 30k on this account, so. Okay, so I've decided that what I'm going to do is I'm going to put everything that I want to keep hold up, keep like that I want to keep safe for masters like I don't want to accidentally alk them or get rid of them in any way so everything that I want to do that I'm gonna put into my looting bag and for that I need to make myself a slayer helm and this should yep there we go that is the slayer helm so that can go into there as well once I've figured out what else I can put in there okay so it turns out that only tradable items can be put in there and as much as I knew that I didn't think about it yeah, these three can't go in the bag. They're just going to chill in here like I normally have them. This My bag currently has all of these in. Yeah, so I just... Uh, wanted to, I was, I'm still going through trying to clear out some bank space. And I just checked this. And apparently the Rune Defender Alks for 39,000. Is that true? Oh. What? Why can't you Alk a Rune Defender? Oh. That's weird. Okie dokie, I'm fairly sure that this will be getting me my agility level, which will be 78 agility. There you go. Nothing really special about this level. Um, it does mean I can use an agility potion instead of a summer pie to get through the first shortcut in the uh, Relicus Lair Cave, which is pretty nice, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, I wanted just to alk some things, so I thought, may as well come and do some agility. Been pretty, been pretty close to this level for a while now. Uh, but yeah, I don't know how much longer I'm going to do this for. Alright, just a quick clip. I'm about to go to bed, but I realized I was close to this level, so I thought, yeah, let's just quickly uh, go get myself it. Uh, this should be, there you go, 75 prayer. I can now wield the Elysian Spirit Shield. Nice, let's just go quickly get myself one of those. Alright, I had to immediately go after completing this raid, so I didn't get to record the actual thing, but there we go, I got... Uh, that was my 12th raid, and grats to Visage Virgin for getting... I can't say your name. Grats to Visage to getting his uh, Arcane Prayer Scroll. I think that is the first Arcane Prayer Scroll he's had. He's got about 110k C, so that's pretty cool. It's also the third item he's seen in three raids, so hopefully he keeps that look up. Okay, so I decided to finally do this. Uh, you have been awarded five Void Commentation Points. You now have 200 Void Points. That means I can get myself the final Helmet. And I will have full void. Uh, I wanted to get this because I, uh, I've i done a couple raids now without actually having a melee helm. And it's kind of embarrassing just turning up without this. Because uh, you're kind of missing out a lot. But there we go. Void, melee helm. I now have full void. Uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool. I think I'm only really going to use it in raids. But it's nice to have. Right here on a Wyvern's task, and I just got myself another pair of granite legs. Uh, what are they? One in five, twelve, I think. I'm getting pretty lucky with these. Hopefully, hopefully that look kind of kind of trying to kind of transfers onto the visage. Yeah, get, let me have a visage. Yeah. All right. So since I switched over to Duradel, I've just got my first uh, Water Fiend's task, and after my first inventory, what I can say is, my goodness, these things drop a lot of stuff. Like. It fills up your inventory so quick, and I've got these things as well. So I'm gonna complete all of this, and then oh yeah, I just realized brute and light tracks it can be done. It. Oh, that makes it nicer. I was thinking I was gonna have to keep everything in my inventory, but nah, it's fine. Brute light will track everything. Uh, but yeah, this this GPU plugin on Rune light, it's yeah, it's same. I have the same feeling about it as I did with OpenGL on uh, OS, but it's like eh, cool. Okay, I'm not gonna use it, but. Yes, thanks for adding it. Oh no, my screen went white. There we go. I I know that this is something that is quite difficult to get on your Iron Man early on. So if you do need a blue set of blue van braces, you can just come kill these. I'd imagine on a low level though, they're kind of hard to kill. So I guess for the long run, it's probably worth more just to get yourself the crafting level. But I suppose uh, if you really need it and you can't be bothered to do crafting, Water Fiends is a, is a viable option.
All right. Uh, so I just finished my my task, and this is all of the stuff that I got. Um, that like it genuinely wasn't as bad as I was expecting it to be. I remember hearing that. Oh, wrong one. That these are like the most skipped tasks. Um, but the, when I got it, I looked what they dropped, and I kind of wanted to do it simply because of like, um, water orbs mostly, water orbs and mithril. These were like the main reasons that I wanted to do it, but like they also drop a fair few gems. The runes are pretty decent. Yeah, it's all pretty good. These are gonna be useless. Um, I don't think I'll ever use them, but yeah, they're, like they don't seem to be that bad. And I like they were about eighteen k slayer XP an hour, which to be fair isn't actually that bad. And like the combat XP wasn't too bad either. Like they they just seem like a good task. I don't know why people skip them. And if you're curious, about 800k from one task, about 170 of them. Uh, it's not too bad at all, in my opinion. Ooh, another Hellhound task. Time to go back to Serb. Let's see if we can get ourselves a second crystal. I, I got 40%. I got 25, because I died. Room crossbow power. I got 17 portals. Hey, that is the first time I've managed to get two kills in one inventory. There you go. They were both pretty quick kills as well, 219 and 211. That's probably why I was able to get both of them in this in one inventory. Yeah, it's uh, sadly not amazing drops, but hey, cannot complain. I didn't even notice that, but that was a new personal best. I think my previous personal best was only like five seconds better. Yeah, 209. So. Not that much better, but hey, it was quick enough that I think I have enough supplies to try and go for another kill, so let's see how this goes. Yeah, um, I've been doing some plank making, and I've just finished making all of the mahoganies. I'm not going to bother making these seven, um, but I'll, I'll figure well, no, I'll figure out how many I need for mahogany tables, and I'll make sure I've got a exact amount of them. So if I need to make some more of these, I will. But yeah, I'm done with making mahoganies for the moment, and I made a couple thousand teaks yesterday as well. Uh, I'm going to do what I did last time, and I'm going to use my planks, and then I'm going to make them some more and then use them. Uh, these are going to go into mahogany tables. These are going to be for oak dungeon doors once I get the level. I think it's 70. I think that if I, I might already have it, or it might be 78. And then the teak planks, I'm going to try to make as many of them as I can into mounted myth capes, because obviously you get more XP per plank. But there's a chance I'll get bored and just make them into uh, into teak benches. So, yeah, I'm going to do that now, and I'm going to see how far I can get with the amount of planks that I have currently. I'm hoping I have 82 banked. I think I should be fairly close. Also, my friend reminded me about these. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to need to turn those in at some point. I'm really sad I turned in my old ones, because uh, I did them about a week before they updated them and made them actually good. So, yeah, that's upsetting. But let's go and do this construction. That is the first construction level, 77. Let's see how many we can get. Oh, and just after getting 77, that is the last <laughs> inventory of uh, oak dungeon doors that I shall be doing. Oh, shoot, what have I done here? All right, let's try again. And there is 78 construction. I know the screen's off, it's because I've stretched out a bit, but yeah, this is insanely quick. Mahoganies are so good. Right, and this will be the last mahogany table. I am now out of mahogany planks in my bank, so we've now done the two easy ones with the oak dungeon doors and the mahogany tables. It's time to move on to the uh, onto the teak uh, myth capes. Uh, this is the hardest because I can't just have my mouse down in a corner like on the other two. Uh, wearing where is it over here? Uh, I need to actually click and drag down and things. It's just not nearly as fun or not nearly as easy, I should say. Um, but yeah, it's time to do this. Let's go grab myself a myth cape. Alright, I just realized I have these to uh, hand in, so... Mr. Barlack, those bones, where's exactly the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me, 18k. Damn. Not even that bad. Alright, sure thing. How much construction XP is this? 81k. Damn. Pretty good. Almost, almost, already at another level, almost. Right, you're gonna have to give the uh, forgive the botched mid record thing but there we go right as you can see this is saying to get from where i am currently to 82 i need 
7,250 teak planks. Now, as you can see, oh no, as you can see in here, we have 3,000 planks already and 4,400 logs, which means I have 7,200 teak uh, in total, which means I do currently have enough, and that's without having to make myth capes. So I'm not going to make myth capes, I'm just going to do benches because they're easier. And since I won't be training construction anytime soon past 82 anyway, I'm not overly worried about it. So, yeah. Uh, also, I re just realized I have six logs here, so I could have just taken all of those and turned them into planks, and that would be another table that I can make. So I might do that, to be fair. Because, like I said, since I won't be doing construction, it can save me some inventory spaces. Bank spaces. Alright, that is all of my teak logs made into planks. I didn't need to uh, to make all of them, but I thought, you know what, no point leaving them. But yeah, that is that done. I uh, Once I've used all of these, then I will have got myself 82 construction, and I can get myself the pool in my house, because I uh, have a high enough herb lore level as well to be able to boost to make the antivenoms. Yeah, this is this is uh this is exciting for me. Now let's go spend I think it's gonna be about an hour and a half doing construction. Alright, unless I am mistaken, this hang on, this should be the last uh teak bench that I should need to make for a while and I've already messed it up, come on. Uh right. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. 82 construction. Oh I can make a nexus as well, nice. Uh but yeah, that is that is really nice to see. It means I can build a uh, whatever the hell it's called, the ornate pool with a plus five boost, which will be such a nice thing to have in my uh, have in my house. And I also can finally take the money out of here because I'm not planning on training construction anytime soon. However, I do kind of want to get myself eighty five because then I can make um because then I can make master stash units with the crystal saw and. That's make like making stash units is just something I really like to do on this account. It's kind of, it feels like uh, it feels like just landmarks. Like I've got the gear that I can do this kind of thing. So it's something I really want to do, but I also do not want to do it because I don't want to make the planks. I don't want to don't want to actually do the construction because construction is definitely my least favorite skill in the game. Like it's quick, but it's just so dull. Like it's such a bad design skill. I think like considering how useful it is, the like. The amount of content that it actually has is pitiful. They they really do need to come up with a different way that you can train construction. Um, but yeah, that is finally over. Time to go and make myself a uh, the anti venoms and start upgrading my pool. Okay, so first step, I should have everything I need. There we go, fancy rejuvenation pool, just two marble blocks. These are expensive. I didn't realize how expensive these things were. Like, look, I spent, like, probably over a mil just buying all this stuff. But yeah, uh, so now I need to go make the antivenoms. I'm going to go do them on Karamja, because I need to make an antivenom in the horseshoe mine for the achievement diary anyway. So I feel like two birds, one stone, you know? Let's uh, let's go do that. First, let's take a, a nice little sip, though. Wait, hang on. I, I decided to do some at the bank. How have I ended up on minus seven mining? The negative boosts stack? I'm at minus seven. Huh. I feel like recording is just bad luck, because the first one I decide to not record, I get the plus five. But yeah, there we go. That is the plus five. I decided I couldn't be asked going to Karamja to do it because it was just adding a whole lot of extra time onto it that was just not necessary because I can't do the Karamja elites until I've got 91 uh, room crafting anyway, so there's no real point getting the steps completed now. And uh, yeah, there we go. That is the 10 anti-venoms. I think I have everything I need just to go run into my house and build it, so I guess let's go do that. Never mind, I'm an idiot. I completely forgot that I needed to boost, but I have 
I have one stew with me because I accidentally went to the uh, the wrong bear moth. So yeah, let's wait for this to tick down and let's get the plus five construction. I can't even see it. Where is construction? Did I not get anything? I didn't get anything. All right, let's go grab some stews. Uh, I've lost construction. Plus five. Oh, please. I almost didn't see it. I couldn't find it in the list, but there we go. Drink from the ornate rejuvenation pool. Oh, that thing is beautiful. <laughs> I'm actually so glad I got this. Oh, it looks so nice. Mushrooms. I don't have mushrooms. I probably should have thought, like, thought ahead and got myself the mushrooms so that I could build this with the boost, because I'm fairly sure I can't use the crystal saw. But yeah, um, I'll probably make a spirit tree in my house as well. Obviously, I, since I can't build the spirit tree and fairy ring, I'm going to have the fairy ring here and then the spirit tree, like, uh, I don't know, there, maybe? Yeah, I think I won't be using it very often, so there will be alright. Okay, so I knew you, you could make... Uh, you could make tea to give yourself a boost, but I found out recently you could make your butler do it, and uh, look, he has funky animations for everything, look at this. Oh, he's back. He's... wait, what? Uh... please? Ten K coins. Uh... sure. Right, so let's let's hope that this does actually give me the plus three boost. Otherwise, that is oh, a, quite a cost of 10k, right? Uh, but yeah, this should give me a plus three, which is all I need to be able to make myself the fairy ring here. So let's see. It does. Nice build fairy ring. I need a watering can. Oh dear. Okay, let's go fill this up quickly. All right, please, please don't uh, boost. Don't go. Yeah, there we go. Fairy ring. <laughs> nice. Right, also, since I am here, and I'm fairly sure I already have a high enough level to be able to make myself this, but yeah, there we go. Spirit tree. I don't think that this requires, like, my, my farming level to be able to have multiple of them. I don't think this counts towards the number I can have. Yeah, nice. Now we have a, fa now we have a spirit tree. Pardon me. Now we have a spirit tree in here as well. And, yeah, I've unlocked two of these three more spirit trees to go, which I don't think I'll be able to get all of them until 99, or I suppose uh, 96 if I want to use the pie to be able to boost to be able to get myself the last one. But yeah, nice. This is the last upgrades that I'll be doing to my house for quite a while. Uh, the only other things I can really think of would be getting the combined of these two, which requires 95, so 92 for me to be able to plus three boost for it. But yeah, that is the last construction I'll be doing for a long time, and I am very thankful about that. I do not like construction. Now to figure out what I actually want to do. 